I've told people that my stepfather is trying to murder my mother. Nobody believes me. So I'm writing this down in case something happens to me. It began several weeks ago. I was having a nightmare when a strange sound echoed up through our house. Hi, Christy. I heard a weird noise, like some kind of banging on the pipes. Well, it must have been me. I was in the study doing some paperwork. At this hour? <laughs> I couldn't sleep. But I'm tired enough now. Aren't you coming? I think I'll have a snack. Make sure you turn out the lights. Good looking, isn't he? Nice, too. Which is how he stole my mother away from my dad. He says he's been working in his study. But his study is not back here. sensed that something was wrong that night, but I didn't. If I had, things might have been different the next day. What happened? Just an accident. I thought this house had good wiring, though. You lived here long? Yeah, four months. Where were you last in the basement? Me? Did you notice it? I don't think so. Yeah. I was up here waxing the floor when I heard this crackling sound like frying bacon. That's what happened when, That's when the lights began to flicker and went out. About what time exactly did you find it? About a Mom? Shh. What's going on? The man from the power company came to read the meter and electrocuted himself. How did it happen? Mrs. Fox. Well, that's the lights on. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Uh, of course. Uh, how long has it been since you had the wiring checked? Son of a bitch. Never should have touched that box, not when it was wet. You must have seen the busted water pipe. Yeah, but who would have seen a puddle on the floor? Not me. Yeah, could have happened to anybody.
Jesus Christ, Cromwell, don't you ever knock? Christy, wait in the kitchen. What's bothering you? You promised to tell me before you did anything with the boy, remember? It's because you're still a virgin, isn't it? That's why you're so upset. I'm upset because my stepfather just tried to murder my mother. No shit. I'm telling the truth, Josh Dealey. Your father's over at my house investigating it right now. What happened anyway? A man from the power company touched our fuse box and got electrocuted. What's that got to do with Paul Fox? Well, he fixed it to kill Mom. Anybody ever tell you you watch too much TV? Janie, you've got to help me. I need your car to follow him, find out what's going on. Why don't you borrow your mother's? She's only God to think he learned it from it. Shouldn't have flunked driver's ed. I didn't flunk. I dropped out because I was sick. Yeah, in your head. Janie, please help me. No. Why not? You've been crazy to get Paul Fox ever since he married your mother. That's why you went to that shrink to get over your nutty fantasy. It wasn't a fantasy. I found the love letters Paul Fox wrote Mom. They were mailed while she was still married to Dad. That doesn't make him a murderer. It doesn't exactly make him a nice person, like my dad is. And when Mom realizes that, she'll want him back. Christy, I said no. I knew I was right about Paul Fox. I ditched school the next day. I waited outside the dealership my mom owned. She'd inherited it from her dad, along with a lot of the rest of the town. Paul Fox was just the salesman there when she met him. Okay, Mrs. Connor's coming in at 3 o'clock, yes. and I want that car ready. It'll be taken care of last night. I'm sorry, it'll be taken care of. Okay, Marty. Okay. and I lost him. The next day, I waited where he turned off. And sure enough, he came by again. Discouraging, but I'm not the sort to get put off. I just came back a third day.
against you. Won't be long before we're together all the time. What? Yep. Hey, you! I saw you at the bowl house. Would you leave me alone, Paul? Peering through windows? That's wrong. Wrong? Well, what about you? Or don't you consider cheating on my mother wrong? Would you come in here, please? We have to talk. I don't have anything to say to you. Christy, I know you'd rather have your father here than me. But that's no reason for you to make up lies about me. Christy. I know that man getting electrocuted was no accident. I know you were in the basement that night shorting that fuse box. <laughs> you can't be serious. Hello? Anybody home? Mom? I caught him cheating on you. What? That's just... He also fixed that fuse box in the basement. They killed that man, but it was meant to kill you. Oh, sweetie, calm down. You're hysterical. What is all this about? I gave a demonstration ride to a prospective customer today. Brenda Bowl. Christy did see us together. You never gave her any ride. <laughs> well, I was about to until you interrupted. Miss Bowl asked me to pick her up at her house because she couldn't get to the agency. That's bullshit. Christy, don't talk like that. He's having an affair with this Bowl woman. I've been following him. Following him? How? On my bike. On your bike? Yeah, I just waited wherever I lost him the day before. Christy, would you please just stop? Okay. Don't believe me. Just wait until he kills you. Christy, do you realize how you're hurting me? You're accusing the man I married of trying to murder me. But he is. Paul told me all about this, Miss Paul. She's a nice girl. She works in Green's department store. She even supports her older brother. He's out of work. Yeah. You should have seen the way she lit his cigarette. Everything getting straightened out up here? I'm afraid not. One thing I know for sure. You lied to me the other night about being downstairs working. You were in that basement. I know you were. You left the door open. You better show her, Paul. Look, Christy. This is just for you. I meant it as a surprise for your birthday. That's what Paul was doing the other night. He was sneaking in from the car through the storm door so you wouldn't notice. Go ahead, open it. It's not going to bite. Well, aren't you going to thank Paul? Thank you, Paul. Is that the best you can do? A car would have been nicer. Well, if you want to follow me again, at least it'll be easier this time. That bike has 12 gears, you know. father's girlfriend then. Christy, I haven't got a car, remember? Yeah, but my mother does. 
I just want you to ride with me in case the cop stops me. You have the license, remember? I don't believe you. You're willing to steal a car and you're afraid to get a traffic ticket. So long, that's so. I'll tell Jane you've been coming on to Patty's seat if you don't help me. Oh, that'll worry you for all of five minutes. I'll tell your father you've been sleeping with Janie. He'll congratulate me. I'll tell Janie's parents you're sleeping with her. This is a nice car. You sure you know how to drive? Yeah, sure. It always starts cold in the morning. Not this car. And it isn't morning. Fuck you, Josh Dealey. Where are we going? To Greens. That's where this Brenda Bowl works. When she leaves, we'll follow her. What if she doesn't leave? And we'll just keep on waiting until she does. Why did you stop like that? He cut in front of me. He was a mile ahead. Let me drive. Better go faster. Faster. I have to get there before this Brenda what's her face leaves. Hey, slow down, would you? Hey, slow down. I'm flying. The gas pedal's stuck. The brake. Hit the brake. killed you. The carburetor spring. It snaps the throttle back into place after you step on the gas. It broke. How? Don't know. What's wrong? Nothing. Only they don't break often. In fact, that's the first one I ever saw. <laughs>
Well, don't just sit here. Go to the motel. Christy, there's something I want to tell you. Later. This is more important than anything else right now. brother keeps grumbling about all the time you're taking. We have to talk about it now? No. We don't have to talk about anything now. Come on, lean on me. How long has this been going on? Since last week. You gotta go see a doctor, maybe. I did yesterday. Yeah, what do you say? I'm pregnant. Jeez, no kidding? No kidding. It's what I've been wanting to tell you for the last three hours. Josh's? Yeah. Does he know? No. What are you gonna do? Get an abortion, of course. Don't you think maybe you should tell Josh? Why? It's not like he's going to marry me or anything. I guess not. Hey, I like sleeping with him. I'm only 17, just like you. I'm not going to settle down right now. 
I want to party and travel. I have my whole life in front of me. Look out! I'm sorry, Mrs. Rolson. Your daughter died. No! No! Okay, I'll tell her. Christy. Yes? She died on the operating table. Police Commissioner would like to ask you a few questions if you feel up to it. Yes. Thanks for not telling your mother about what you saw today. Would she have believed me? Probably not, but I appreciate it anyway. I won't see Miss Bowl again. Yeah. Police Chief's waiting, Christy. Well, Dr. Ralph Applesall, before he talks to ask you folks. I want you to tell me everything you remember about the accident. It wasn't an accident. Pardon? Janie was murdered. By who? Paul Fox. Why would Paul want to murder Janie? Well, he didn't. He was trying to kill me. Why would he want to do something like that? Janie and I saw him at the Siesta Motel with this woman, Brenda Bowl. She works at Green's. He was afraid I'd tell Mom. Only now there's no one to back my story up. For that, he'd murder Janie. He's trying to kill my mother. That meter man was one of his attempts. That was an accident. They all look like accidents. Mom's car went out of control yesterday while Josh was with me. It almost killed us. Ask him. All right. I will. If that isn't enough, go to the motel. Paul's car was parked out back. It's a gray Chrysler Laser. You'll find Janie's car there. Paul spotted us and we had to run for it. Was it the laser that hit Janie? No, but Paul can get any car he wants off of Mom's lot. I'll look into it, Christy. Thank you, Mr. Daly. Don't you worry, Christy. At last, I'd found someone who was going to help me. I'd just stay out of Paul Fox's way until the police commissioner had enough proof to arrest him. I wasn't worried. Even when Commissioner Dealey came to the house, and Paul seemed so friendly. That's how the police are with suspects, I guess. They get their confidence. But I'm keeping up my diary, just in case. Well, what do you write in that diary all the time anyway, Christy? The life and times of a teenage sex maniac. <laughs> Not only is he an incompetent murderer, he's a total asshole. Hi, I'm Christy Cromwell. Mr. Peacock sent for me. I'll tell him you're here. Well, if it isn't the Undertaker's best friend... Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, you figure it out. No, you tell me. Okay, you asked for it. If it hadn't been for you leading Janie off on that wild goose chase, she'd be alive today. It's not true. Janie was my best friend. I didn't want anything to happen to her. Yeah, that's why she's dead. Out of the way, sicko. Take your hands off her, Charlie. Lighten up, Josh. We were just razzing her a little about what happened to Janie. Yeah? We've got a pretty sick sense of humor. Now beat it. It's her fault. And everybody knows it in the school. Yeah, well, I don't know that. 
And Jenny was my girlfriend. Now beat it, both of you. Thanks, Josh. Christy, Commissioner Dealey is waiting in my office to talk to you. Come in. You wanted to see me, Mr. Dealey? You found out something about Paul Fox, right? I found out you're just about the worst kid I've ever dealt with. What? Your stepfather. He was no more at that motel yesterday than he murdered Janie Ralston. How do you know that? At the time of the hit and run, he was with your mother at the dealership. So he had somebody else do it for him. He was still at that motel yesterday. He wasn't registered. Then Brenda registered. Her brother says he was with her on her lunch hour. He's lying. Someone at the motel must have seen one of them. Did you ask? Nobody registers at that place by the right names, and nobody sees anybody else there. Or at least they won't admit to it. What about Janie's car? Did you find that there? That proves you two were there. Not much else. We wouldn't have left the car if we hadn't been running for our lives. Paul Fox was chasing us. Don't you believe me? You know, you're a real little actress. I might even have believed you if I hadn't talked to your mother. My God, you didn't tell her about this. I certainly did. And she told me all about how you blamed Paul Fox for her having divorced your father. She also told me about your therapy and the wild accusations you've been making. But they're all true. They're all true. Dad told me about what happened in school today. I thought maybe you could do some company. Where are your folks? They went to the Rotary Club dance. Josh, would you help me break into Brenda Bull's house? Oh, come on, Christy. Well, listen, it's only over on Stone Avenue. I'll break in. You just keep watch outside. Christy, stop it. I'm just going to die, Josh. Just like Janie. Christy. Josh, you have to leave. What are you scared of? Nothing. You're afraid of what you were feeling when we were kissing, aren't you? Josh. Come on. Josh, just leave, please. I'm sorry. It's just that, well, I'm missing Janie, too. And suddenly you were sitting so close. There's something you should know. I already know. Janie told me. You've never done this before. Well, it's about Janie.
Oh, shit. Paul. Well, what have you two been up to? Please use the front door on your way out so you don't run into my wife. She's making a pot of tea in the kitchen. What are you and Mom doing home so early? Between you and the police chief today, she wasn't much up to a night in the town. God only knows what she'd do if she found out about this. Look, Christy, out! You're not going to tell Mom. I'm not like you, Christy. I'm very forgiving of other people's sexual foibles. Even yours. Good night. Oh, my God, I'm bleeding! What? No! I'm only going to the bathroom. What is it, Paul? Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I just caught my finger in the door. What's wrong with you? You didn't catch your finger in any door. Not you. And if this had blown up now, you would have been killed too. There is a slight smell of gas. I'll have to have that heater looked at. or two anyway. Why not? Mom, that riser was bent, so you trip. Oh, Christy, don't start again. I I probably bent it when I fell. Mom, Paul did it. I know he did. Christy, stop. Here we are, darling. Christy and I can take turns wheeling you around. Can't we, Christy? Easy, ma'am. Easy. There you go. You might begin to like this kind of treatment. I suddenly knew what I had to do. I went to the bowl house that afternoon and waited till Paul showed up. Then I waited some more. Then I decided to make a run for it. Okay, you two. You want to fight? Then fight and get it over with. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Stepdaughter, don't worry about it. Polly. We'll find her. It's better. I'm going. Which way did you go? How the hell do I know? I'm busy. You check the side gate. I'll check the front. Back 
There's no sign of her. Check out back. Proof, huh? I've told you I've got to keep sleeping with him until he kills them. Then we can do whatever we want. Lord, I didn't know! Oh, no! oh! You don't fucking him because you enjoy him! Huh? No. Then are you get off by having him and me at the same time? Lazy no. up! I know you! Now we don't get anything! We don't get anything until he kills them! Then we can blackmail him for everything! Keep on pushing it! How? By fucking him every day! Huh? Yes, it's the only way! that I don't know here clean yourself up and answer it is this the Smith residence no one lives here by that name are you sure I mean this is the right address get lost For English class, I got worried. I kept remembering what you'd said about wanting proof. And I also want to tell you that I was sorry for last night. Forget it. No, it's important. Look, I didn't mean to hurt you. It's okay, I understand. You do? Yeah. Sex is just plain horrible. Look at this. I guess that takes care of your mother and Paul Fox. Christy, making love won't be like it was that first time between me and you. And it wouldn't be like in this picture. I promise. Josh, I don't want to hurt your feelings. But I don't want to go to bed with you again. I don't want to go to bed with anybody ever again. I'm sorry. Give it to me. Give me that picture. Leave me 
a simple question about where she'd been and she called me a vile name. He's lying! Look, Karen, I can explain everything. It's not like it looks. Don't you touch me. I'm not going to hurt you. It was a simple affair, nothing more. I don't want to talk about it. We've got to talk about it. I just want you out of this house now. Oh. That's for every time I kissed you and I wanted to throw up. You think it was for your money? You think that's why I've been trying to kill you? Well, it wasn't. I've always hated you. Ever since I was a kid watching you drive past with your rich daddy in his big car. Well, I finally got rich by marrying you. But I didn't love you. Touching you. Talking pretty to you made my skin crawl. Think about that the rest of your life. <laughs> Before I go home, you never loved me. All these months, you never loved me. That's how it happened. I guess it's just mom and me now. I'll have to help take care of her. See, nothing like this happens again. All my life, I wanted to love and be loved. But love can sure do terrible things. At least now it's all over. Never have shown your mother that picture. No! Don't make her bleed, otherwise we'll have to clean it up. Shit! What do I do now? Put him in the basement till about two in the morning. That'll be a good time for a burglar to break in. What do you think of Lacey's plan, honey? I'll have tried to stop the burglar, of course, and been knocked unconscious. He'll kill everyone else in the house. Paul, you can't do this. <laughs> Not me, baby cakes. Him. <laughs> Look, Christy. <laughs> no hands. <laughs> uh 
you said through the storm doors prove it how i'm gonna take you up into the kitchen you follow my lead slip into the conversation whatever you heard them say i'll watch their reaction lacy will kill us both do it maybe i'll find a way out of this for you and your mother you don't you're both gonna die you're gonna kill us anyway no matter what you say Leave her alone. Christy, do what he says. What's she doing here? 
She's gonna make blueberry pancakes. She makes great pancakes. I can make pancakes. Kid makes them better. How do you know? You ever taste my pancakes? Shut up, Brenda. A man wants the girl to cook for him. Let her do it. Right, Polly? So, Brenda, how long have you and Lacey been married? You got it all wrong, kid. Lacey's my brother. Oh, come on, Brenda. I was hiding in your house when you two were fighting. I heard everything. I know Lacey's your husband. Shut up! <laughs> you bastards. Lying to me? I wanted to tell you, Paul. But I was afraid I'd lose you. Liar. No, I'm telling you the truth. He doesn't mean anything to me. It's you. You're the one I love. <laughs> Stop. Answer it. If you don't, whoever it is may come over here. If that happens, maybe the cops won't be far behind. They've answered it. I told you, Josh. She doesn't want to talk to you. Now, please, don't call her again. That should take care of that little bastard. There's only one way. What? What do you mean, Christy? I'm gonna have to kill them.
On the count of 20. On the count of 20. Slowly. From when you hear the door close. Hey, Brenda! 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 What do you want? I have to pee. Squat and do it down there. The cops will find traces of urine. It won't add up when we're supposed to have been murdered in our beds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Taking her for a pee. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Leave it open. Oh. What's going on? Where did you? She's escaped, Lacey. somewhere. Paul, are you there? Yeah. You and Brenda stay where you are. I'm gonna flush the bread out.
Get away from the fuse box. Get away, you bitch! <laughs> She's in a room. I'll take care of her. Go see what's happening in the basement. I know you're in here. I know you're not going anywhere. Not with your mother downstairs. sakes. Go on home before I call your father. I'm not going home till I see Christy. Stolen. Okay, Josh, I'll get her out of bed, but it'll take a moment. Now you listen, cunt. You get rid of him, or I'll kill not only you and your mother, but him too. Brenda, cover the old lady. We got her covered. Josh, what are you doing up this late? I called earlier. Your stepfather answered. He wouldn't let you come to the phone. <laughs> so? He's an asshole. What's he even doing in the house? Didn't you show your mother that picture of him and that woman? Yeah, I did. But she forgave him. She did? Even after seeing that picture? You know what they say. Love is blind. Oh, Josh, can't you see I'm lying? Oh, he can. He can. <gasps> what are you doing dressed? I was still up doing some homework. At one in the morning? Look, something's wrong, isn't it? No, of course not. Look, I want to come in and talk to you. Come on, let me in. Listen, you little asshole, I'm being punished. After you were through with me the other night, I was bleeding all over the place. Mom found my clothes, I had to tell her why. What we did wasn't wrong. We care about each other. Did you tell your mother that? I couldn't. Why not? Because I don't care about you, you stupid idiot. I don't even like you. I just wanted to lose my chair to someone. Anyone. Even a garbage man. Now leave me alone.
Is he gone? Yeah. Oh, let's kill him now oh, and get it over with. Not until we clean this place up. It's like a slaughterhouse in here. It's my ass. Police will be suspicious. If he gets busted, we don't get any money. We kill him at two o'clock. Let's put him in the basement. screaming. I tried to stop Brenda from turning the lights back on. Oh, Mom. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, Josh, please don't believe what I just told you. Please don't. Not if I don't ground it. Where did you learn all this? Shop. It's the best elective I ever took at school. Even if all the other girls did laugh at me. Can I have the cover? Hey, you know, my wife went to the gym. Yeah, she lost 20 pounds at first visit. <laughs> machine tore come on, let's get him. <laughs> hey, you know, my wife... Uh, he didn't she come here to watch TV. TV. How long before it shorts out? On a guess, five minutes. It should be here soon. Where's Polly? Finishing off the whiskey. <laughs> What's the shorts? Whoever tries to fix it's gonna die. What about a ground? That's the ground. Ready? Come on up or do I have to come down and get you? We're coming. Where do we kill them? Upstairs in their beds. Come on! She's too goddamn much trouble to get upstairs in that cast. I'll do it down here. What about the cops? So they'll think she heard a noise. Got out of bed to investigate. Come here! What lights? God damn it, come on! No more running, baby. It's all over. Yeah, I believe you. Car 72 calling Central. This is the police commissioner. I am at 38...
I'll deal with her. Go fix the lights in the basement. Think it. Mom, I want to know he's dead just as bad as you do. You'll be safe here. This is the police commissioner's house. I'll send Josh back to keep you company. Get me. Don't be dumb. He's a million miles away by now. 
Then he did escape. He's crazy. Don't worry. They'll catch him. You know something? I really do care about you. This is for Brenda. I'd like to speak to the commissioner. It's Christy Cromwell, sir. She'd like to speak to you. Hello. Christy. Mr. Dealey, I think this time you'll believe me.